I don't have to wear pants because it, oh I'm joking how are you hello Facebook friends hello hello Facebook friends hello it's time to be silly and start the show hello Facebook friends hello let's go Welcome to whatever day this is. Is it Sunday today? It is Sunday because you know what? I don't know if anybody else is noticing this when when I've got nothing to do and I'm just sort of stuck at home and not doing very much, not going out and not having any gigs and not having to answer to anybody. I didn't even know what day it was, but I do know one thing, one thing. Miss Christie, Miss Christie's here. Say hi, Miss Christie. Hey, Miss Christie. I am going fishing today after we're done this because it's going to be a nice day. Triton and Malaya are here. Malaya and Raven. I see Raven. Hey, Raven. Hey. I'm going fishing after this. I'm going to do some ice fishing. I need to get out into the sunshine. So I might have some fish for supper or I might just throw them back and uh, we'll see what's going on. So tonight there may not be a reading. I don't know what time I'm going to get back because I'm going out. Uh, not far away, but far enough away to be away from everybody. So, um, yeah, so there might not be a reading tonight. Uh, if there is, cool. If not, ah, I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah, I'm just excited about going fishing. It's it's nice to be able to get out and do something sort of normal, I guess, right? Get out and, and uh, do what you like to do. Uh, yesterday, I... I was going to get the car out um, and wash it. I've got a car like this one right here. Right there. Hey, say good morning to Rodzilla. Rodzilla says, And everybody know what my stuffy's name is? Yes? His name is, So I say good morning. That's it. He's right there looking over my hat. And of course, right there, where it's hard when you're doing it backwards. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Make sure you wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Do the ABCs and wash your hands. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, P, Q, R, S, T, Z. Not that fast. Not that fast, apparently. Hmm. You know what I learned since I've been washing my hands properly? How hot the water gets. Um, yeah, because normally it would be like, I used to wash my hands like this. It'd be like soap, 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 water, soap, and then like this, and away I went. Now it's like, oh, I'm like scrubbing up like I'm going to deworm a walrus or something. But, um, yeah, I'm rambling because that's what I do. Um, oh, I just got a kick under the table. You know what that means? It's time to read. Today we're going to read an older book and a newer book. There you go. Bugly Bears Hiccup Cure. Hiccup Cure. Hiccup Cure. Going to do the read that. And then I'm going to read a new book called I Need a New Butt. I need a new butt and I cannot lie. So, you know what? The reason I read the books to you is so that you will get a sense of wanting to read every day. Because when I was young, I used to use stories to escape. So when you get a chance and this is all over, make sure you go to the library or purchase yourself some books that you really like and keep them with you. Because you know what? The author spent a lot of time writing them and the... Uh, artists and illustrators, they take, spend a lot of time, um, you know, artisting them. So if you could do that, that would be uh, great. So let's start with uh, Bugly Bear's Hiccup Cure. <laughs> this is Bugly Bear, and he has a hiccup. This book is from 1982. Bugly Bear's Hiccup Cure, and it is by True Kelly. True Kelly. True story, True Kelly, as opposed to Liar Kevin. This is for the rants, Adelaine, Mark, and Kelly. Here we go. Let's start reading. Bugly Bear woke up from his winter nap with a start. <laughs> he had <laughs> hiccups. He had a very bad case of hiccups. Glenn and Chloe, my neighbors, say hi. Uh, hiccups, said his friend Forrest. I know lots of cures for hiccups, said Bugly. 
it's hard to do a hiccup as a question. <laughs> as a statement, it's like, <laughs> as a hiccup as a question, it's, <laughs> it's okay, I wash my hands. Okay, uh, hold your breath while I count to a hundred, said Forrest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, counted Forrest. But Forrest wasn't very good at counting over ten. Fourteen, a uh, twenty, a uh, thirty-seven, a uh, thirty-three, sixty-two, a uh, forty-two, happy face, unicorn, Pizza, 89, 90, 56, 100, Hoorah! said Bugly. Okay, um, new plan. Hang upside down and drink a bucket of honey, suggested Forrest. Okay. Tickle, 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 said Forrest. <laughs> laughed Bugly, in the most unbear like laugh ever. Okay, uh, eat three loaves of moose moss bread, said Forrest. <coughs> Pardon me. Pretending to have hiccups that's giving me. There he is eating three loaves of moose moss bread. <clears throat> uh oh, at the very end. <coughs> um, maybe if I sit on your stomach. <coughs> and he shot him right into the tree. <laughs> <clears throat> Pardon me, all this pretending to have hiccups is giving me a sore throat. If you could just forget about your hiccups, they'll go away. Mm, a little song and dance will do. Let's get your mind off them, said Forrest. And Forrest's song began. Oh, do the mushy mashy, eat potatoes, squishy squashy, lunchtime will be soon, underneath the moo moo moon. And Forrest danced wildly through 27 more verses. But it didn't work. Bugly went. <laughs> oh, hypnosis. Hypnosis, said Forrest. Your eyelids are growing heavy. You are in my power. <laughs> You're a chicken. <laughs> said Bugly. You are a chicken uh, without hiccups, said Forrest. <laughs> said Bugly. I will not give up, said Forrest. I will scare them out of you. Uh, what would scare a bear? Uh, boo! Said Forrest. I hate this, said Bugly. <laughs> there is the pig in there. Forrest tried his monster costume next. Forrest tried his monster costume next. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, scary monster. Wait a minute, 
said Bugly. I think they're gone. <laughs> Rats. Uh, okay, if this doesn't work, nothing will, said Forrest. Swim back and forth across the river. Back and forth and back and forth. Twenty times. <laughs> said Bugly tiredly. Just then, Forrest slipped on a wet rock and fell into the water. Oh, help! Help! he yelled. I, I can't swim! And the current swept him towards Headache Falls. Bugly jumped into the water after Forrest and swam, swam, swam towards him. Forrest was almost at the edge of the falls. Bum, bum, bum. Bugly grabbed him by the horns just in time and dragged Forrest all the way back to shore. Oh, thanks, said Forrest. Suddenly, Bugly sat up. Oh, my hiccups are gone! They're gone! He yelled. They're really gone! Forrest smiled weakly. This one first. Forrest smiled weakly. Uh, oh, said Forrest. <laughs> Hanalee and Maya. Maya? Maya or Maya? Samantha's little ones are watching too. I hope I don't get your names wrong. I had the hiccups one time. You know, and, I was, and I'm 52 years old and I got them the other day and I felt like I was nine. <laughs> it's just like trying to talk to a client on the phone and they're like, oh, so do you think we should reschedule? I'm like, yeah, that's a great idea. It would be really good. Like that. And, and I tried to hide them, right? I was like, oh. And then it gave me a little burp. I was like, burp. And she, I go, oh, no, excuse me. And she goes, do you have the hiccups? And I said, yes, yes, I do. And she goes, oh, okay, cool. And I went, oh, okay, well. <clears throat> and then I needed a new, I needed a scare to get rid of my hiccups. And then all my gigs canceled. <laughs> no more hiccups. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm, I made Miss Christy smile. That's the, my job every day. That and to wake up. I need a new butt. I need a new butt, butt. But, and this is by Don McMillan, and it's uh, illustrated by Ross Kennard. Kennard? Kennard? Kennard, I think. Kennard. Kennard. There you go. So this is an instruction manual, right? Like, this, is, this, this is how we get you a new butt? This is how we get a new butt. I have, um, okay, so I like broccoli, and I like eggs, and I like, um, so what we're saying is that I, um, sometimes you can come into the house and it'll kill a skunk. That's what I'm saying. And uh, I social distance by eating uh, eggs and broccoli. Here we go. I'm going to read I Need a New Butt. And this is a pretty new book. So if you have a chance to get it, uh, please go out and get it. Spencer, my buddy Spencer. Here we go. Reading I Need a New Butt. Yeah, look at the back. Pictures. Oh, I gotta focus. I need a new butt. Mine's got a crack. I can see in the mirror a crack in the back. Danica, I need a new butt. Mine's got a crack. I see in the mirror it's a crack in the back. Did it happen on a slide? Or the banister inside? Or when I jumped my BMX. Hmm. William or Samuel, would it happen when I jumped my BMX? Or the fart that happened next? Of course, the fart. That's when I blew my butt apart. I split the thing clean in two. Now, I wonder what to do. 
Luke. <laughs> I haven't read this book very much, so I read it and I didn't look at the pictures very much. He just like totally wrecked the whole. I wrecked the whole world with my farts. Ba -ba -ba. I need a new one. Mm -hmm. I need a new one. A uh, green or a blue one? Well, there's things that need to be decided. A fat one or thin one or wood one or tin one? Hmm. <laughs> this butt's on special. That one's... It's a rock bottom price. <laughs> it's half off. The price before was astronomical. <laughs> Why not? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm a child. Okay. Why not an arty farty butt? One not to be forgotten with watercolors on top and a mural on the bottom. Oh, I don't know if I want to be an artist that paints on butt. On butt castle. Or yellow spotted, purple dotted. Oh, a butt with color. Or a butt with flair. A butt as bright as I dare to wear. A butt as bright as dad's underwear. <laughs> I would totally wear that underwear. If I had underwear like that, I wouldn't wear pants. Or maybe an alien's butt from a metal like titanium. It's fireproof, bulletproof, and bombproof. Fireproof, bulletproof, and bombproof. Is it gasproof? Oh, we'll never know. I like a butt that's safety rated. The right butt. <gasps> a night butt. A butt that's armor plated. Wait. <laughs> Check out what's happening over here. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. That never works, by the way. What about a bumper butt made of chrome? Okay, so now I'm getting into this. A bumper butt made out of chrome. Why not, I say, a 60s sport coupe one made from the USA? When he farts, he goes. <laughs> With accessories to complement, like uh, strips of silver smoothly bent, or a set of lights left and right for backing ground in the night. <laughs> I bet you, if I had lights like that, I would never miss the toilet at night time. Oh, yeah, and then you could have it when he's backing up. Eat, 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 eat. Oh, eat, eat, eat. I'm hungry. With a bumper butt, I wouldn't be scared. Because bumper cracks can be, be repaired. <laughs> Joe's bumper repair. <laughs> oh. But... A bumper butt is huge. A bumper butt weighs a ton. Uh-oh. He's busted the toilet. I thought I'd do that a couple of times. I've changed my mind. I want a lighter one. <laughs> I like this guy. Yeah. Right, this guy right here, right? Eh? He's like... Yeah, okay, yesterday I was hauling stuff around, and uh, now i got to haul this kid to school. Yeah, this is good. Union, union. Hey, way to go. <laughs> Love it. A 
A rocket butt I'll fire and thrust. A robo butt? Now that's a must. Robo butt. Nope. I think it's all too late. This cracked butt is my fate. I'm here on my own in this cracked butt zone. No one to care and no one to share. <gasps> What's that? I hear. Dog for sale. I need a new butt. Do -do -do. This is outrageous. Are butt cracks contagious? Dad! Your butt crack's showing. Oh, I'm busy under here. I'll fix it in a couple minutes here. Don't worry about it. No. <laughs> so, um, my uncle used to bend over to fix the trucks all the time. And uh, his butt crack would show. So we used to take rocks and try to throw them into... <laughs> yeah. And Dad... There's no way of knowing just how far it's going. <laughs> now we know what happened to my butt. Yeah. I used to have a butt, and then I woke up one day and went, How come my pockets are closer to the front of me? Hmm, that's the way that was. I need a new butt. Oh. <laughs> I love silly books. You know what? It um, makes me happy. You know, I can read a serious book if I have to. I, I like reading uh, quite a bit of uh, many books and things like that when I was younger. And like I said before, it took me away to a time, you know, because sometimes in my childhood, things were a little bit scary. And um, I just would, and uh, yeah, that's about all. To read some books, be silly. Today at 2 o'clock, my one of my favorite people in the whole world, my buddy Fred Penner, is going to be putting on a uh, concert. So I'll I'll share a link on my uh, Facebook so that you can do it. So sing loud, sing uh, silly, sing yeah, just sing. Have some fun today, and uh, be safe, be brave, be you. The most important thing you can remember: A B K, because in the you know, it's okay to get mad. It's okay to get sad. It's okay not to like the people around you. Because sometimes you're just not going to like the people around you. And they're not going to like you. But right? ABK. Always be kind. And remember, be you. Because in all that you say and all that you do, you never have to be perfect. You just have to be you. And I think it's funny that I just messed that up a little bit because I don't care about being perfect anymore. I just want to make you laugh. So I hope I have, and I hope you have a great day. I won't be on tonight probably, but if I'm going to be able to be back in time to do something tonight, I'll uh, post it on Facebook. Please read a book, sing lots, get outside, get some sunshine, be happy. Oh, and always make sure that you tell those around you that you love them. I love you, Miss Christie. Love you too. Yay.